What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Streamer Loot Cacus and today we are going to be taking a much closer look at the brand new Trials of Osiris weapon added to Destiny 2 with the Witch Queen and more specifically Season of the Risen. And we're going to be focusing on an incredibly unique, arguable god roll for this weapon. Now the weapon in question is the Aisha's Embrace Scout Rifle. This is a rapid fire frame 260 rounds per minute weapon. I got incredibly lucky, like Bungie finally turned on my streamer loot because I kept two different Trials of Osiris engrams from last season and I decide, hey, might as well go for it. I decrypted one and out of all the Trials loot, it randomly gave me this scout rifle, then I focused the other one and then I got the roll I was looking for. And the specific roll we're gonna be showcasing in today's video again, is incredibly unique. It was never available before just this season, and now it's only available on the Aisha's Embrace and actually the Duty Bound Auto Rifle. And that role is what you saw being shown off at the very beginning of this video. It's actually gonna be the combination of Triple Tap, which says rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. Now that's gonna be combined with fourth times the charm. Rapidly landing precision Precision hits will return two rounds to the magazine. So obviously these perks are very similar and Destiny 2 players have been asking Bungie to put them together on one gun for an absolute Omega magazine size and they finally did it. The mad lads at Bungie finally did it. So the most important thing to remember is that both of these perks will not only pull the rounds out of thin air but also trigger upon themselves. That's why, especially with triple tap, and this is most notable on certain snipe rifles, you want a certain magazine size. For example, four rounds you really don't want. If you can get to five rounds, it's so much better. And that's because in a five round magazine, you shoot one, two, and three, you have two remaining, but then you get that triple tap activation, you get one back, and then that's one, two, and then the one back. For another three, you get another shot. So again, both fourth times the charm and triple tap will count the rounds that they themselves add back into the magazine when triggering themselves again. And the result is what you saw at the beginning of the video. This, I actually luckily got appended meg with my roll. So it comes with 19 rounds in the magazine for me. And I can shoot, no joke, like 60 rounds out of this thing without stopping. It is absolutely insane the magazine size you're capable of when you are fighting a target with a big crit, you know, like that public event boss or just a guy with a big head and you're able to consistently trigger both of these perks. However, that's actually not all. Because this is a Trials of Osiris weapon, it's actually gonna gain two different origin perks that you can switch between. The first one is Alacrity, gain increased reload, stability, aim assist, and range when you are the last living member of your fire team or running solo. And that running solo part applies to actually more than you'd think. For example, you can see here, I'm in a public event space again, just testing out this weapon, and you can actually see that Alacrity bonus is active. So even though there's people all around me, I'm in a fire team of one, and so this is going to trigger. And it is actually a noticeable increase in stability, at least, for this weapon. However, when I did do some psyops, even though I was solo, I didn't like have a fire team going into it because it match makes you into a fire team, that bonus did go away. So again, keep that in mind, but you know, if you are just doing a solo activity, this origin perk is basically a free increase to a lot of main stats and a noticeable one at that. But the other origin perk is the crucible one, one quiet moment gain increased reload speed when out of combat. This is definitely more minor, but hey, a lot of weapons in the game still don't have origin perks because it's only the new weapons from the Witch Queen forward that do, so again, this is just better than any other weapon that doesn't have it. But guys, honestly, one of the most important factors in the Aisha's Embrace's favor 
is just the fact that it's void. And so it's going to work with all of the absolutely insane void 3.0 shenanigans and builds available right now. So in terms of mods, right? Like it is going to be able to spawn void elements itself for elemental armaments. It's going to get a damage increase from Font of Might whenever you pick up those Void Orbs and heck, even if you're making Void Orbs from your absolutely juice to the gills Vortex Grenades, right, that everyone is using in PvE, Font of Might's gonna buff this weapon and it also really importantly works with Volatile Flow because it's a Void weapon and Volatile Flow is just insane in the game right now and that's what I am using in the background gameplay when I'm playing the PSYOPs mission is the Aisha's with Volatile Rounds. And you've got to remember, Volatile Rounds will actually increase your DPS. Like it doesn't just cause ads to explode. If you shoot it enough on a singleton target, then you will get those explosions for extra damage on that one target. So now imagine you pick up a Void Elemental Well, with the Aisha's Embrace, right? And then you see a bigger guy, maybe a yellow bar, you plant that reticle right over its head and just hold the trigger. Remember, rapid fire frames have intrinsic full auto, so it's just so easy to use. And then not only are you getting an absolutely absurd magazine size that is so far and above what any other scout rifle is capable of in the entire game, but then you're also triggering volatile rounds explosions again and again and again and your dps output for a primary weapon is actually fairly significant but with all of that being said is this role actually good or is it more just cool fun and interesting well i kind of went into this thinking it's going to be more on the cool and fun side of things but after using it for a bit like it does have a little bit of applications Remember, anti-barrier scouts are a thing right now, and most people's attention is put on the uh, Throne World Scout Rifle that can get the perk adaptive munitions so it can shoot through any shield, and certainly that is a very, very capable weapon. However, like, you can bust a shield down with a rapid fire scout on a barrier champion pretty fast, and then just being able to put this right over its head and hold that trigger and never stop shooting, like that is a really consistent form of damage that isn't gonna be that bad because you're gonna get a, a pretty significant amount of DPS out of your primary while not having to waste any of your, you know, sniper rounds, your rocket launcher rounds, anything like that. So I actually could see myself using this in something like a Grandmaster if I'm specifically going after a void weapon. Now, obviously, again, the adaptive mun munitions handling any shield that has a solid argument for that, but yeah, this is actually no joke. With that being said, I think in PvP, you may be interested in a different role. Like, this is definitely more of a PvE role just because you have such beefier enemies. I mean, you saw what I did uh, to the big, you know, Servitor boss. Everyone in PvP is going to die long before you can really start triggering triple tap and fourth times over and over again. So I think you'd much rather have a different role. However, like, I don't mind rapid fire scouts in PvP, honestly. And this one having that alacrity uh, origin trait is really, really helpful. And so while I don't think this weapon is going to break the meta or anything like that, it's actually pretty solid and I would highly recommend it to anyone who already likes using these rapid fire frame scouts. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.